Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Right, good morning chaps. The plan is today to get into the control panel and wire up the elements, of course. So I've just been looking online and I want to buy some new panel mounts and uh, sockets and plugs for this, but um, I just don't have the cash. We don't have the money to do it yet, so what I'm going to do is just jerry-rig it until Obviously, we've got some spare pennies. It's going to cost me about 100 quid for all the cable and uh, all the plug sockets and the switch gear to do it properly. So we can do a caustic brew and maybe one or two batches before then just by hard wiring basically is what I'll do. I'll cheat a little bit, which will be fine. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not risking any electrical failures. It just means I won't be able to unplug and remove the control panel, you know, right away, which isn't a big deal. But before we do that, we have issues outside the brewery with people parking the cars there. So uh, the landlords got in touch with a company who has provided signs and you, uh, you take photographs of whoever's parked in your space, if you like, send it to them and they issue them with a, a parking ticket and a bill. I know I'd never pay one if I got one like, but uh, at least it'll just sort of encourage people to bugger off. You know, we pay extra for these parking spaces, so it'd be handy if uh, if nobody else parks in them, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go and help uh, the folks next door put these signs up first, and then when I've done that, I'll be coming back in here, and we will be doing that, and maybe even a caustic brew today. That'd be cool. Central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 2 2 over by the good folks of Blair. pressure sex cells behind it. Okay, chaps. Well, I've been here all day. It's half past five, would you believe it? So, we've actually got the three phase into the SSRs. I've just got to drop a power supply in. And then what I've also done is, uh, well, I'll show you. So I've been up on the HLT while we were doing other jobs and I've swapped out the bowl valve for the stainless steel one that Andy sent me. Thanks again, mate. So I am having to put a bend in it just so I can get a full tank, but uh, the speed of the fill 
is dramatically improved. Watch this. Look at that. That is just absolutely flowing out of there. I'll be over that element in no time. And you can see we've got plenty of room on the end for the elements to fit in as well. Turn that off for a second. So if I come across to the boiler, you'll see we've got both of the elements in there as well. They're one on top of the other. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. I don't think it will. But uh, you see also just in the side of the tank there, we've got the thermo probe. Well, that's going to be moved up a notch to this other one here. And then on the bottom, we'll put in the float switch to isolate the elements should there be no liquid in the tank so we don't get a, don't get an accidental burning of the elements so i'm going to wire this up turn that water back on come back in 10 minutes and we'll actually test one of these elements hay fever's got me again the bugger meant to be a low pollen count today so yeah we'll come back and we'll see if we can do a bit of a caustic brew before we go home or at least at least put something in the tanks and heat them up because I really want to test these elements and mainly the heat sink, see if we get any uh, any hot spots in there. I'll show you what I mean when we get around to it. Right, we've got the obligatory glass of water here and I've jerry-rigged up a thermo probe so we can effectively take the read out of the boil PID it's set for 20, we're at 21, so we shouldn't have any power there. Let's just have a look. Uh, 20. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense then. Hold on. Let's just warm that up. Yeah. There we go. It must have a hysteresis in there or something like that. So you can see that the PID is, the solid state relays are off. There's no LED on them. If I cool the probe down again in the glass of water, we should get some light up there. They should turn on. There we go. So that means this is working on this side. Yeah, we're down below 20. So I have to I have to obviously set these PIDs up, but at least we know at least we know that they're working. That's good news. So what I'm going to do is turn the three phase on over there, plug the elements into each one separately into each output. I'm going to plug the HLT element in because that's submerged in water and we'll give them a test, see what they look like. Right, here we go folks, we've got power on for all three of the three-phase connections. We have the boil kettle PID rigged up to operate these two, ignore the fact that that says HLT, I need to write boil kettle on it. So we've got the HLT plugged into this boil kettle outlet. We're going to activate you see the light come on there. So now that that relay is closed, well that relay is closed actually, we've got 415 volts live here and up there, but these are the only two solid state relays that are active, this one isn't. And if we go around to the HLT, then we should see action in here. Check it out, 12 kilowatts of heating power in the HLT. You little beauty. I knew we'd do it, boys. I knew we'd freaking do it. Right, I'm just waiting for Stuart to bring some batteries down for the old uh, amp clamp, and we'll test what power this meter's, uh, the um, control panel's running at. I think it's only gonna be an amp maximum. And we'll also test the voltage that's coming through, is here now, with my batteries. And we'll test the, uh, the current that's going through the 
cables as well for the element. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna sit down. I've got some thermocouples and I'm gonna take them to this bit of Cat5, Cat6 internet cable. And then I'll run that along the wall and into the control panel and that'll give me all the cables I'll need for any signaling or anything like that. So all right, let's change these batteries, buddy. No, they're at wrong size. I need triple A's. Is it double A? No, triple. Oh, bollocks. Have you got any triples? No, just doubles. Well, tomorrow then we'll be doing the current. <laughs> He's come to take me away. This man in the brown suit. Yeah. <laughs> the enthusiasm. Yeah. Beer. More yes, beer. more beer. So we're uh, just supping on a Club Tropicana from Tiny Rebel. We've got the wire sorted out down there, ready for the thermo probes to go in the wall. But we're going to wrap it up and have a quick beer now. And uh, then Gemma will pick me up in about an hour because she's gone to Edwinstow again. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. low pressure and a fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the eastern portions of Montana down to western sections of Nevada and of course the massive high picking up warm moist air from the south.